Hey guys, welcome back to Fix It Philip. Thanks for watching. Today we have a 2011 Ford Fiesta. Uh, it actually belongs to the Toyota dealership. It was probably a trade in. They said that the uh, RPMs when driving were all erratic all over the place, so they changed the throttle body. There wasn't any codes there, and once they changed the throttle body, the problem's still there. So I checked it out, and um, to me, it feels like a transmission problem. These have that dual clutch. Um, transmission design pretty weird transmission um, so they are very common for the actual transmission control module on the transmission to be faulty uh, there's a recall on that if I'm not mistaken and I believe they extended the warranty um, or it could be the actual transmission itself but before we condemn it there are a couple grounds uh, that we're gonna check out sometimes that's a problem if you have a bad ground connection that can make uh, the transmission or the vehicle do all kinds of crazy stuff so this is what we're gonna do so on this one, you just have a short wire going uh, from the negative battery terminal to the strut tower here. We're gonna take that off and clean it. Looks like somebody scraped some paint off there already. But down here, you have two more grounds. Doesn't look like anybody's ever touched those before. So we're gonna take those off, scrape off the paint, put them back on and see if we uh, have any difference with the way it drives. Okay, first we'll check this ground from the main negative battery cable that one's been scraped before in the past so just scrape it with a razor blade to make sure it's good Snug this one back up. So we got this one cleaned up. Now we have these two down here that doesn't look like anybody's ever scraped them before. So we'll take those two eight millimeters off and clean those up and put them back as well. I don't know if this is gonna fix it or not. Like I said, they, are, they do have common problems with the transmission control module on the transmission and the transmission itself. But you can see here, the only good ground source it has is just in the threads of the actual bolt holes. But everything else is all painted. So I'm just gonna scrape that also with the razor blade, clean it all up and get that paint off and we'll put it back on. Okay. I'll we'll clean up these eyelets too that have corrosion on them as well. Let's see on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a razor blade and scrape off the inside of the head of the bolt too. So get these tightened up. And we'll go for a test drive and see if uh, we're still having issues. All right, so there we go. There's the grounds back on there, two there, one here. So see what happens okay we have throttle now before it only go up to 2,000 rpms so now that's going up so let's see what happens when we drive it so I think as far as the extended warranty on these, I think it starts in 2011 and newer. I don't know what year they cut it off. 
I want to say it's 2015, but I'm not sure. Let's see if we can pull up any codes. But long story short, before you start stressing about taking to the dealer, it could just be that ground. But it is a common problem on these for uh, bad transmission control modules and or the transmission. Let's see. It does feel better, but it's, it still feels weird to me. I'm gonna try to take off here from a stop, see what happens. Yeah, it still has a hiccup. But it's not, the tack's not fluctuating all over the place like it was before. It just has a little bit of a, of a dead spot in between gears. But before it just felt like it was slipping like crazy, so. It's weird because there's no codes. So if you're having transmission problems on your Ford Fiesta, one thing you can check is the grounds first, and if not, like I said, try, uh, transmission control modules common for failure and possibly transmission as well. So, hope this video helps for you to try to isolate that problem. Thanks for watching Fix It Philip, and remember with Fix It Philip, you can fix it. I'll see you next time.